My name is Lecturer Kilaji, Bishop Kenya Michael Oltome, speaking in Nairobi National Government this morning. Uh, in Nairobi National Government, Mpakasi East Constituency, Mpakasi Village. Today we want to see the Word of God uh, from the Bible, which is New International Version Bible. And uh, we want to uh, learn a bit of uh, what is going on, the ranging kind of floods. What does the Bible say about the flood? So we are going to read uh, actually uh, the whole of chapter 6 for yourself. And uh, I'm going to, just going to read randomly uh, Genesis chapter 6, verse 1 to 5. Then you can continue up to even chapter 9 about the ranging floods. The book uh, uh, of, uh, you know, Genesis was written by Moses 1,440 years before Jesus Christ's birth. And uh, we are told that it's about 3,400 and, uh, you know, 66 in that, 68, eh? uh, 64, 64 years ago, which is 3,464 years ago. Uh, during this dispensation period of Jesus' birth uh, uh, year, which is 2024, we call it Anno Domini, but uh, before that, that is what you call 1400 BC or before Christ's birth. This book was written uh, when God actually wiped out all humans except a few of them. Uh, the, some scholars, uh, Bible theological scholars, say there are about nine people because Noah had two wives, but it looks like uh, one had no children, or maybe had, we are not, we are not very sure, but uh, he had actually, Noah had three sons, and three, uh, you know, wives, which have not given birth, together with those uh, two wives and him, so they are about, you know, six plus three, nine human beings. Uh, apart from, uh, you know, pairs of each animal species, which was spared also to continue procreations. So uh, Noah had three sons and with three wives, and Noah had two wives. Eh? So nine people were spared during that time. We are told many righteous human beings nowadays who are wondering about the deep question of their lives, even now, when uh, there's a lot of, you know, calamities going on, including floods. And uh, we are also uh, told why uh, we here on planet Earth in the Bible. In this kind of a temporal life, uh, which is just there uh, when we are waiting to go to another planet called heaven, which is uh, temporarily, uh, human beings are here then in that case on planet Earth. And we are looking forward to go to the upward spontaneous sky location called heaven, which God dwells and also dwells here. In uh, Isaiah 66 verse 1 and John chapter 14 verse 1 and 2, we have also mentioned there are rooms which are prepared for human beings, which are godly human beings. Whenever you live here, you will go there uh, and be with Jesus until he return again back with you and uh, have you judged again later on and thrown to the lake of fire. And uh, those who are now living the world, that, uh, that planet called heaven, if they are not saved, they will be also be in a torment, hell, awaiting, uh, which a Catholic used to call purgatory, a very terrible place until uh, now Jesus again judge them later on and throw them permanently in the lake of fire. In Revelation chapter 20, verse 11 and to 15, the great judgment. So Moses wrote about this issue. Uh, you know, concerning the flood of that time uh, to human beings which normally are regarded like, you know, reindeer, which of course will appear very shortly and they will also disappear in different, uh, you know, uh, natural attritions, including floods and diseases. We are not permanent here. So Moses relied on the, you know, revelation from God and also direct communication to pen down what we are reading today. And also uh, from other oral narratives of other, you know, uh, others who have recorded uh, some event of the Bible, like a theological kind of supplement uh, scientist, 
who accept they told us also about that kind of a ranking uh, ranking uh, flood of that time which is likened to Kenya today flood uh, which has claimed so many lives uh, which is recorded today in our newspapers like uh, People's Daily and others which is reported here the city of flood in the city Nairobi national government is so much affected uh, whereby six people are reported dead today and thousands are morons in the houses and road impossible in many parts of the country kenya particularly even the national government nairobi so uh, remember when such calamities occur yeah, which are not uh, somehow also uh, bringing only blessings but uh, a lot of death as well remember that is also god punishment so we are going to read Genesis chapter 6 verse 1 to 5 and say the flood of Noah. I am reading from New International Version Bible, the son of a publishing house, Grand Rapids, Michigan, United States of America. So it reads, uh, when uh, men began to increase in number on earth and daughters were born to them, the sons of God uh, saw uh, that the daughters of men were beautiful and they married any of them they chose. Eh? Then the Lord said, in opening and closing in verse comma, My spirit will not contend with man forever, for he is a mortal, or is someone with a people who can die. His days will be 120 years. That was the standard years of that time. And the Nevelins, which are big human beings like angels, were on the earth in those days. And also afterward, may, when the sons of God went to daughters of men and had children by them, they were the heroes of old men of renown. Five, the Lord saw how great man wickedness on the earth had become and that every inclination, inclinations of their thoughts, of their hearts was only evil all the time. That's why God decided to destroy the world. The people had have time to be wicked and all their thoughts have been closed. All right, in a kind of a bad, you know, thoughts. So they grieved the Lord God in verse 6. Okay, of Genesis chapter 6, verse 6. The Lord was grieved that he had, man, he had made man, which is Adam, on the earth and his wife Eve, and his heart was filled with pain. And that's why now God destroyed all the species of living things that time, which I said 1,440 years story recorded before Jesus' birth, which is about 3,400 and, uh, you know, uh, 64 years ago. So today, remember, whenever we uh, you encounter some kind of, you know, uh, problems or calamities, Sometimes God wants to punish human beings to pray without ceasing and also uh, so that they can contend with the Spirit of God. All right, because sometimes people don't contend or don't respect God in that case. In first, uh, Gen uh, Genesis chapter 6, verse 3, the Lord said, My spirit will not contend with man forever, for his motto, his days will be 120 years. God decided even to reduce the years of human beings. They have been living more longer than that, but now it is even more or less. Uh, today, 20, uh, 21st century, if you are lucky to live 70 years, you are lucky. Because God was, is keeping on reducing human beings years because of their disobedience to God. Because the longevity of life uh, depends, you know, uh, on God's hands. Longevity of life. You can shorten your life. You can also increase your life. So today, remember, the Spirit of God uh, does not contend with people who are evil doers. All right? And uh, we are told also, God uh, did God set lifespan for, of human beings at that time to be 120 years? In uh, verse, uh, you know, 3. We read here that uh, during that time, the Lord actually increased humanity life because there are few uh, in, in on earth. All right, the sons of Adam and Eve were few. 
So the Lord God actually, uh, you know, increased the highest to be 120 minimum. Uh, and also there have been, uh, you know, what we call Netherlands in verse uh, 4 in Genesis chapter 6. Netherlands, many theologians think that it is a kind of angels or big human beings of that time, huge human beings, giants, which are also God also uh, gave uh, an okay to, for them to uh, populate, uh, you know, populate the arts. To, uh, you know, to populate the human beings. You can get that uh, kind of a uh, human being called Nevelin also in Numbers chapter 13, verse 32 and 33. Nevelins. Uh, actually, uh, aristocrats, men of political structures, and uh, they are linked to another term that indicated heroic persons with both power and influence more than human beings. So remember today, uh, Kenya need prayers. And I, Bishop Kenya Michael Altam, I'm also a political preacher. I could wish to uh, inform the president, His Excellency Dr. William Samarita, and his deputy president, His Excellency Rikati Kachagwa, to use the money which is there in the treasury, if there is, called supplementary budget, 